Okay, so here we are in the profile page. Uh, presumably, you know, right after we were we successfully registered, and and you know, uh, we we assume that the system has logged us in, so it remembers who we are. We haven't worked on that yet. We'll work on it in a, in a minute. Uh, but the 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 functionality here would be that I navigate to my profile. I would I should be able to have information about myself, right? So the first thing that I would have to do here in the profile is go fetch my profile, right? Uh, so so let's um uh, let's take a look at that how we would how we would uh, do, uh, do that uh, so let's uh let's uh on the on the profile screen uh, what what uh, what we're gonna do is that um, in the profile on the uh, on load right when we when the component uh, mounts right we should we should be able to go uh, to the to the server and say hey you know who's the current user right. And there might not be any anybody, anybody logged in, right? And then we should kick you out of the profile, or not even allow you to navigate to a profile page unless you're na you're, you're logged in. But nevertheless, if I am able to navigate to this profile page, the first thing that I should do is fetch the current user, right? So uh, or, or or the current profile. So to do that, we're going to in the in the service, we're going to uh, implement a function that is going to retrieve. Uh, it's going to retrieve in the user service. It's going to retrieve the current profile. All right, so let's implement that right here. We're going to say export, we'll say const profile. And so it's going to do a fetch, same thing as uh, before. So I'm going to just copy the URL. It looks very similar, but instead of register, it's going to ask for the current profile. It, uh, it is going to be a post. Uh, but I'm not going to send any information, right? Presumably, the server is the one who is remembering Who's the current user, right? What profile am I keeping? Right, so I'm not sending any information. Uh, so, uh, so I'm gonna close this. Oops. Close that. Close that. And here's the then. So here's the in the response. We're going to uh, presumably extract the current profile from the uh, from the um, uh, from uh, from the body, right? So once we have that in the in the profile, we can um, we can then use this. We can import that. We can import from the user service. Uh, so on when we load, so on component did mount, right? We can we can search that and maybe copy it into a local profile, right? So we, we might save it in a local state. Uh, where we can store the um, the the profile information, uh, which might be uh, you know some username which might be initially empty, right? Might also have first name, you know everything in there. Uh, might have uh, things like you know last name. Uh, might have my email. It might have my roles. So all sorts of information might be in my in my profile. So we're going to go fetch the uh, the profile. We're going to say um, we're going to use the profile function. So the profile, and hopefully this would be the profile coming back from the server, and uh, and we're going to copy the the information. So in this dot set state, uh, we're going to set in the um, in the profile function in the profile attribute. Right, we're going to we're going to copy the the current profile. Now, at first, this is going to be null, right? Because there is no current profile, right? We you know there's, the server has no means currently of being able to remember anything that we have sent it before. Uh, it is in the database, but uh, this, the, 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 right now the server has no means of uh, of, of re realizing that it's me again, right? I just registered, right? Uh, you just added me to the server to the to the database. Uh, but but there's uh, no mechanism right now for the server to be able to re re realize that it's still me, right? It's the same person. Right? There's no mechanism in HTTP to do that. Instead, we're gonna have to rely on cookies to be able to do that. So let's do this. Let's uh, let's restart this. Oh, is there another question? Uh, 
it should uh, profile be a get request instead of a post? Um, actually, um, no. What what we're going to do is that uh, um, all these communications uh, about uh, profiles and users, and we're passing around username and password. Uh, we're we're passing around um, authentication and private information, and we would like to be able to pass this not in the in a, in a get. Uh, instead, we want to want to pass it in 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 the body where we have a chance to encrypt all the information and make sure that if anyone is, uh, uh, is listening in in the conversation that we, we have a mechanism for, for obfuscating and not making that information available to anyone who might be listening. Uh, so we're going to be using POST uh, for all these communications. Even when we're doing a read operation, uh, we're, we're going to be using uh, POST. Okay, so here we are in the profile. If we refresh uh, the profile, notice that we, we went out to the, uh, uh, to the uh, server. The, there was an HTTP request um, in the network. You know, we went out to the profile. There it is. And, uh, but right, there's nobody actually listening on the profile on the, on the server. So we need to implement that on the server. So let's head over and start working on, on using a session right to maintain information between the client and the server so let's do that <laughs> 